Building wealth for the future is important. Investors and stakeholders are nowadays demanding businesses to do more than make money. The human impact on our environment calls for changes in the way industry operates. In the book, Ecology of Commerce, Paul Hawkins says, Business teaches us effective forms of human organizations. Environmental science reveals that those forms do not necessarily preserve the natural resources that are the basis of our well-being. While business teaches us how to gain financial wealth, ecological understanding demonstrates that the wealth is an illusion unless it is based on the principles and circularity of nature. Businesses need to have a dialogue to reconcile these dichotomies, which will be the fundamental basis for an economic transformation. ESG is the new language for economic transformation. Hi, my name is Dr. Shruti Sharma, and today I'm going to talk about E of ESG. Now, business has three basic issues to face nowadays, what it takes, what it makes, and what it wastes. And three are intimately connected. First, business take too much from the environment and does so in a hard way. Second, the product it makes require excessive amount of energies, toxins and pollutants. And finally, the method of manufacture and the very products themselves produce extraordinary waste and cause harm to present and future generations of all species, including humans. E of ESG addresses these issues. E stands for environment, which is dealing with environmental risks and natural resource management. Under this sphere, companies measure and report their environmental impact and performance against predetermined criteria. There are four broad criteria in the E of ESG. Let's talk about all of that. The first one, pollution and waste management. Business activities that produce toxic byproducts which pollute our air, land and waterways must be monitored and managed according to local laws and industry best practices. Chemical intensive industries such as agriculture, manufacturing and construction are major environmental polluters. The overuse of fossil fuels like oil and gas, the introduction of pollutants in the form of chemicals or even noise and light into the environment can have uncontrolled and unpredictable consequences for our ecosystem and local communities. Pollution is closely related to waste management. Companies should focus on a preventive approach to reduce the risk of pollution while being ready with a remediation plan. Now, some indicators in pollution and waste management include wastewater discharge limits, pollution concentration, emission limits, ambient air quality, handling of hazardous and non-hazardous waste, and etc. If you look in the long run, pollution control measures could result in cost savings due to better efficiency, turning waste into wealth, into energy or other forms of revenue generation and other financial opportunities. The second criteria is emission and climate change. Greenhouse gas emissions are a company's direct contribution to climate change. These days, public pressure is holding companies accountable for their emission. Overemphasis on emission reduction skews the focus heavily on risk, but other climate-related threats should be a part of company's climate adaptation plan. This includes its energy consumption, energy efficiency, and emissions level, as well as, well as reduction targets. Increasingly, sustainable investing has become more relevant. Investors want to see a transition plan that signals a company's adaptability to a future low carbon footprint. Now, there are opportunities to this. Businesses that prepare themselves for low carbon emission pathways are better able to overcome the challenges of climate change and differentiate themselves by adapting their business model. Improved energy efficiency and sustainability can result in huge cost reduction. The third criteria in E of ESG is biodiversity. 
Impacts of biodiversity can negatively affect valuable ecosystem services, which are the goods and services derived from nature. Activities that degrade natural habitats, pollute or overexploit, particularly construction, extractive and resource-based sector are major threats to biodiversity. World Economic Forum lists loss of biodiversity under the top five risk for the coming decade, which will have a significant impact on mankind as greater than half of GDP. $44 trillion to be approximate is somewhat dependent or highly dependent on nature and its services. Changes in land, sea use, pollution and climate change are some of the major threats to biodiversity. Now, biodiversity loss or degradation threatens the availability of natural commodities used to produce goods or services. Companies could face opposition from regulators and communities on activities that affect biodiversity. Now, active conservation of biodiverse areas create potential revenue generation such as carbon credits. Biodiversity conservation ensures long-term resource availability and can prove access, improve access to markets. The last and fourth criteria for E of ESG is resource efficiency. Businesses rely on finite resources such as water, forest-based products and fisheries to produce goods and services. So there is a vested interest in ensuring the longevity of available resources. Non-linear consumption and production processes that are designed to reuse or recycle material effectively reduce waste and maximize resource use and hence sustainability. Investors look at water use, energy use, raw material use as a measure of resource efficiency. Process design that factors in resource optimization is also considered as well as the results of life cycle assessments in compliance with international standard or certification for resource efficiency. Now companies who follow resource efficiency benefit for getting more output from less input, saving costs and reducing waste. Circular economy practice can differentiate a company and prepare for supply shortage. We can say that business is the only mechanism on this planet today powerful enough to produce the changes necessary to reverse global environment and social degradation. E of ESG helps businesses identify risk associated to the business and map opportunities related to climate change. I hope you have subscribed to my channel. In case there is any specific topic you want me to cover in my video, please mention in the comment section below. And stay tuned for the next in the series of ESG.